Welcome. Today we will have a short tutorial for using analog functions in select PLCs by using self programming software. To understand analog features, we will select Quick Zest 2 product since it has both features inbuilt. Quick Zest 2. AI settings. First two channels can be configured for temperature that is TC and RTD. For demo, we will use J type selection. Next two channels are used for current sensing that is 0 to 20 mA. Channel 5 and 6 can be used as 0 to 10 VDC or can be selected as normal digital input. Here we can select our analog output as voltage or current. All analog functions are available in analog and control sections. We have basically analog input to sense analog input, analog output to deliver output, calibration of analog input, calibration of analog output, in control, RAMSOC, PIDT, FTC and digital output. This is our basic analog input block, available for channel selection, error pin and actual analog input value. For multiple sensing, for analog output, same, a channel number has to be assigned. And a percentage in counts at analog input will be 0 to 10,000 for voltage and current. For temperature, it will be actual temperature in terms of point 0.1 resolution. For analog output, percentage in 0 to 1000, which is again 100% in terms of point 0.1 resolution for 0 to 10 volt or 0 to 20 milliampere. In control functions, we have RAMSOC, PIDT, FTC, and digital output. PID to block, RAMSOC, FTC, digital output. In PIDT, the sensor error value which will be the same as that of channel number selected, process value of the same channel, set point as desired, PB we can set, integral value we can set, derivative we can set, cycle time we can add a variable, DAC and ARW respectively can be added. PID block will provide an output in terms of 0.1% which can be used directly into A out or in digital output block. RAMSOC, the sensor error which will again the same, PV again the same, set point as desired, initial ramp from where we need to ramp, ramp rate, the rate of increase of temperature, soak time and output pins, ramp status, ramp set point and ellipse soak. FTC is to filter the variations in analog input. Digital output block converts PIDD output in terms of percentage to a digital form. Now we are seeing typical representation of PID function. Action pin to perform action of hit or cool. Since this is an auto tune block, functions can be used for tuning. This tune status, this is GVR0. Temperature 0. Set point, a new variable has to be added. For example, 75.0 degrees. Since this is an autotune block, we may or may not need to insert values at the time of initialization. Toward chattering, please assign some value to cycle time. Rest can be kept as 0.
will assign the same variable as output of PID to the digital output and same cycle time variable at GVR9 to this block. And directly assigning output. So this is a basic representation of PITT block in select software. We can use the same function for ramp soak, hold pin to stop function of ramp soak if needed. Again, the same sensor value. Temperature zero. Set point. Initial RAM, say for example 27 degrees, RAM rate at 60 degrees per hour, soak time for say T hash 1 minute, RAM press status. Ramp SP and elapso. To control output through a ramp of block, we will just need to change the set point to ramp set point. As per these values, this ramp status will start increasing the output from initial ramp to set point, which will be fit to the PID. And accordingly, PID will generate a percentage output to drive or to control the digital output. So, this is a basic representation and operation of a PIDT block along with a RAM. So, please see other videos for how to use software, product ranges, and technical support. Thank you.